Oops, spoil well, yet? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, why not, why not? Oh my gosh, I forgot, I have completely forgotten to level up my teammates. I 100% forgot, <laughs> forgot all about that. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible. Incinerate, uh, initial attack now triggers combo detonations. Launch two projectiles, seeking separate targets. All right, let's do that one. Um, increases both initial and shrapnel damage against enemy armor. Briefly stuns affected enemies. Shrapnel inflicts additional damage over time. Increases the number of shrapnel explosions. Ooh. That's cool, though. This would be nice for like when we're fighting when we are fighting remnant and we're fighting the big guys. I feel like this is like it briefly stuns affected enemies. I'm like, yeah, but does it? <laughs> you know? I really honest to goodness miss the um being able to I don't know, pick like I don't know, maybe maybe I'll have to read something about how to trigger um, like, uh, combo detonators, because before I used to just do it all the time on purpose, you know, like, I would, um, I would shoot, like, concussive shot, and, oh my gosh, what was my, one of my favorite combos was, like, uh, maybe it was, like, lift and concussive shot or something, or incinerate and concussive shot, I don't remember. But I would do that all the time intentionally, and I really miss being able to control that. Like, the fact that they took that out, I don't think people really brought a lot of attention to that back in the day. Like, it was brought up, but it wasn't, like, as big a deal as the other things that people were freaking out about. But for me, that this, it is something that I'm kind of like, hmm. <laughs> so, like, I would maybe do the stun one if I could control it, and... And then I would be like, okay, now they're stunned, and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do an attack and get extra bonus damage or something. Or, but I don't even know if it does extra stun damage. And does it affect all enemies? Does it affect the huge remnant things that like come after us and that are terrible? Sweet. And y'all. Energy drain, yes, please. So this is good, because he's shields focused. I didn't even notice this. I just brought out Drak and Jaw because I like him. Um, but Jaw can focus shields while Drak focuses armor. Ooh. Might do that. It's a combo detonator. Affects up to two additional nearby enemies, restoring additional shields for each target hit. Holy crap. Continues to restore Jaw's shields over time. The enemy target is primed for combo detonations. Okay, so you prime them, and then you can combo... Or, mm. That's kind of confusing. Do you prime it, and then me and one other person, or me and, like, Drax, say, will combo on it? Or does me doing something to the primed enemy, does that detonate the, the primed, you know? Like, it becomes the combo just by us two? I don't know. I don't remember anything. There's now a combo in I like that. Increases damage, especially against shielded enemies and synthetics. And increases shield restoration. And also restores the shields of nearby allies. Why do that? Um. Ooh, then we do want it a lot more? I don't even think we have enough to get it all, to be honest, though. See, and I would do I would do this if I knew he was going to use it on a regular basis, but I don't. So and maybe I'll just have to I'd have to like watch the battles more closely. Even when I'm like editing and I do do I try to spend as as little time editing as I can so that way I have time for like, you know, real life and also playing the game itself, but so I don't watch the whole thing all the way through all the time, unless there's a, a problem, and then I have to make sure that everything's fine. Um, but, yeah. I don't, I think I'm usually fighting in the front, so I'm not 
keeping them in my peripherals so much. So even if I tried to watch it while I was editing it, it would be difficult to see what my teammates are doing. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we do have enough. Increases damage, especially against shielded enemies and synthetics. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. And then the sticky grenade. Or we could get his resilience up. That might be good. Increases shield regeneration rate and reduces the time before they start generating. Jal also now cloaks when he evades. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So both of them. Increases the maximum shields. Or we can increase the shield regeneration. Plus 10% health and, health and shield regeneration delay. Okay, let's do that. I think I'm basically with, with uh, Lyra. I've stuck with Jal and Drac. I guess we'll just level everybody else up. Why not? Why not, I guess? I don't know. Charge. I don't bring her out because her style is basically mine. Increases... Wait, hang on. Let's see what my charge I chose. I chose top, top, bottom. Okay. Bottom, bottom, top, maybe. Improves core's weapon and melee damage for three seconds. Sure. And flame restores core shield and reduces her incoming damage for five seconds. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, no, wait. Yeah. So did I choose this one, or is this just, this is specific to Korra? Reduces her incoming damage. That's pretty, that's a pretty passive ability. Nova. What did I choose for mine? Oh, I can still upgrade Nova? What? <laughs> Darnation. Alright, so I chose the bottom one. Increases... Increased damage to enemy shields or increased damage to ooh armor. Okay, I could focus armor or shields. That increases the damage radius. Knocks an enemy to the ground and primes them for combo detonation. Only unarmored, unshielded, and normal sized enemies. Okay. Nova has no recharge time, but consumes shields? No. I don't like either of these. Eh. Nova, I use Nova more for like, I mean, I use it all, I use it in combo with charge all the time, no matter what the enemy is, but, um, it is really useful to just go into like a small group and like damage them, like a small group of like small health, regular, uh, grunts, I guess. Increases the damage to the shields or armor. Damage, force, damage, radius. I think I, I have the radius as being pretty large. I feel like it's more of a shields attack than an armor attack, and it would probably do more to shields. Than it would to armor. I think the more enemies have shields, more than they have armor. Oh, shields. Sure. And then... Ooh, let's get some passives up. I forgot about passives completely. I was like, I already have all the abilities I want. And we have... We also have the backlash, though. That would be nice to level up. But we'll get some... We'll get some passives going. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go straight up with shields. Increases maximum shield strength while biotic effect is active upon an enemy. Reduces weapon weight free while shields are active. Oh, okay. Ooh. On a cooldown. Okay, so 15 seconds. Restores shields after enemy is killed by biotic power. Also affects squad mates. Nice, that's cool. Let's just go with the max shields. And do that too. That would be that would be nice. Maybe I have five. Offensive biotics increases damage from all sources against enemies suffering an ongoing effect of my biotic power. 
increases. See, the thing is, I guess, I don't really have extended time biotic, really. I just do charge and nova. They don't really do extended effects, but increases combo detonation damage from biotic detonators and increases the radius of all combo. Yeah, no. Increases power damage for three seconds after using about a power. Increases weapon and melee damage for three seconds. Oh, ooh, shoot. That's a, that would be a cool one, though. On offensive biotic. Increases all combo detonation damages against shields. Biotic de combo detonations. Eh. Lots of knocking down on just regular grunts. Increases the radius force of all biotic effect. Uh, oh, increases the duration of biotic power. See, I, I'd probably get this one then. So do I want to increase the radius and force of all biotic area effects sooner, or do I want to do... Uh, yeah, let's actually, let's work towards containment then. I mean, the combo, I feel like the combo detonation doesn't have, happen a lot. So I guess we could just increase the damage against shields. Increases all combo detonation damage against shields or another knockdown. Yeah, let's just go power. Oh yeah. Rank four, what does that do me? Um. General stat, oh. Oh, impulsive actions taken, casual choices made, emotional choices made, logical choices made, professional choices made. Oh! That's cool. Impulsive act. Oh, those are like the time to, or the the quick time event type things. So I appear I appear to be more emotional by far, and then casual, and then logical, and then professional. All right, so that's pretty that's pretty good. That's kind of what I was going for. Outlaws defeated. Wildlife eliminated. Enemies defeated by me. More than half. That's good. Melee kills, pistol kills, shotgun kills. <gasps> this could help you, um... Hover kills. Oh, cool. Kills made by my construct. Combos detonated. Squad mates revive. This would help you get achievements. I should... I kind of looked at the achievements the other day. Minus 13. Huh? Um... Oh, maybe it would be under profiles. Okay. Adept. 30% biotic field. Biotic echoes. Biotic combos can set off additional explosions on each enemy they touch. Okay. And I've just upped my biotic force effect. Damn. Wow, wow, wow. Sweet. Let's, I guess... Get some, get some housekeeping, housekeeping done. All right, we need to up her passives. Okay. Shield boost, that's a unique one. Increases duration of ongoing shield restoration, increases strength of initial shield restoration. 150% shield restored. Yeah, we'll do this one, I guess. Core and boosted allies take less damage while shield boost is active. Shield boost now restores health as well as shields. Let's actually just take less damage. Commando. Increases her melee. She does like to get in there and melee. Biotically empowers Core's melee attack. Slightly increases damage and knocking away weaker foes. Biotically empowers Core's melee attacks. Increasing damage and force. That's cool. So this one's just overall force, and but it blasts weaker enemies back. That's cool. Haha, <laughs> let's do that. Max health, melee damage, max shield, health regenerate, max health. <laughs> All right. 
Vietra. Power armor. Improved shield regeneration while active. Let's just do incoming damage. Damage resistance improves melee. Wow, okay. Activating power armor inst instantly recharges turbo charge when power armor ends and explosion. That's cool. That would be cool. I like that one. Sure. Concussive shot. Yeah. Damage direct force. Not fix the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's, I like that. Take damage over time. The defected enemies take extra damage from all sources for a short time. We'll do that one. Let's do armor. And then we could just get turbocharge done. Damage versus shields improves heat venting to increase Vetro's rate of fire. Sure. I do hate how it takes so long to get into that. Invasion. Alright. All affected enemies do less weapon damage when an affected enemy. Oh! Let's do that one. That's cool. Duelist, pull, or shockwave. Um, meh. We'll get duelist upped. Power, force, or recharge speed. Let's do recharge speed, I guess. Survivalists. Should our allies regain some shields? Her barrier explodes, impacting nearby enemies. That's cool. Oh! She uses Biotic Teleport, evades, and gains a bonus to damage when her health is low. Biotic Teleport evades and gains a bonus to maximum health shields. Let's do that. That would be that's pretty sneaky. She'd do something like that. You think I'm down? Nope, my shields, my barrier exploded. <laughs> does he does he have to use a frag grenade as well? Does he have to like have or does he not? Like, cause if he has if that requires him to have like the parts or whatever, then um, that makes me mad. <laughs> oh my gosh, 64 points. I like have never taken I don't even have enough for overload. Oh my gosh. I like haven't taken him out since the very beginning. Uh, Havoc strike. Uh, overload. Let's just get everything up to rank three. <laughs> okay. I'd love to use this frag grenade more. Direct damage, damage radius, damage radius. Affected enemies take additional damage over time. Increases grenade damage. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, damage versus armor. Damage versus shield. Armor. Havoc strike. What does he do? Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. 30% damage radius. Enemies have havoc strike. Take 50% additional damage over 5 seconds. Lean does more weapon damage and melee damage after using it. Does more power damage. Increases the stun duration. Let's do damage radius and that and that. Neato, neato. Uh, recharge speed. Change to an additional target. Yes. Overload change initial target does more damage. Okay, or. Now, yeah, let's do that. And we can get... Maybe get his defense up. Max shields or health. Max shield... Oh. Health regeneration. Max shields, max health. Let's just do that. Perfect! Yay! <laughs> it's just... <laughs> Alright, then! Uh, oh yeah, look at the little adept symbol on me. Well, that was a lot, or very, I'll probably keep that in one long episode, I guess, which is kind of like, eh, kind of a bummer, but, um, got some, got some nice chatting in, some housekeeping done, um, I can't really think of anything else I want to do, because I don't want to create armor or weapon, <sighs> we want more, 
Okay, this might be like a... I might create better weapons. I don't care about the armor, but if I can get some weapons that I... I'd like to maybe upgrade my... Um... Oops. Um... Omni blade. I don't use the Omni blade. Ultra rare fusion mod. Um. Research has AVP. Um. Cool. That all better not be in my inventory. Uh, additional common mining nodes. Reduces the amount of time to takes to earn research points. Unlock one extra consumable, 15% more. Earn credits from investment at regular intervals. Cost the penalty to all fusion mods. Okay, I don't really care about much of this. Sure. Accelerated mining. Oh, okay. 82%. Yeah. Then... Sure, why not? How did we do? Wait. Did I not? Didn't I send some out? Okay. Yikes. Nope. 88, 91. 89, 88. Uh, sure, you guys do that one. And you guys do that one. Can I upgrade my current dealies? Oh, I just realized um, this was actually named for the quarry in Riga in recognition of his service against the Geth. And I don't have... I haven't upgraded it at all, I guess? Um, okay. Okay, weird. I don't remember what, oh, a sorry sword? Uh, yeah, let's do some research on that. Krogan hammer. I think I'm using the Black Widow. Oh, shoot. Um, that's right, because they've split it into a couple categories. Uh, hmm. Let's do... I don't have enough for the Rieger Carbine Shotgun. I don't have enough what? Copper? I nearly have enough. Can I buy copper? 
Oops. Okay, well, I mean, I spent all that money, I guess I might as well at least upgrade one. I mean, it's going to take, like, uh, it's going to take, like, all the copper away I could wait, but I might as well, I guess. Fancy armor. Weapon when uh when health and shields are full twenty percent damage. Uh oh, I want to put that on my legs. Each projectile bounces off a flat surface. Projectiles now travel on ballistic arc. Changes weapons to projectiles seeking plasma bolts. That's amazing. Oh. Sure. Um, sure. Yay. Now what? <laughs> um. Can I modify what I'm currently wearing? Where's the, where's the cryo one? Oh man, I don't care. Oh wait, it's on, that's right, it was on the legs. Uh, where is it? Right there. Yes. Um. Wait, I have Rieger Carbine 4? That's the one I'm... Oh, y'all. I should have looked. That was my bad. Whatever. Can I... Oh, I can deconstruct it. I guess. Thanks. Armor... Oh, I can't. 
have to like change when I go to change my loadout. Is that what it is? Oh, I see. Okay, but I see what it was saying before. About like having the the disadvantage of like ha like cutting it in half of the fusion mods. I don't even know what this armor does, but it looks cool. So that's all that matters. Okay, well, I guess I will call that one here. So we got some cleanup done, but some interesting things happening. And next time, I guess we'll just hop on into whatever the end mission is. So thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.